What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So in today's video, we're talking about zero turn mowers, exactly how to turn around without leaving a mark, and maybe just some things that you haven't thought about. I hope this video brings value to you in your life. If you're interested in what I have to say, well, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm going to show you a couple different scenarios here. Um, the first tip I have for you guys is to slow down when you're turning around. Um, when you're coming to a stop or you're bringing any tire from speed down to a stop, no matter how good it is or how grippy it is, it's going to tear up your grass a little bit if you're making abrupt stops. So when you're down to the end of your line and you go to turn around, you need to slow down and go at it at a reasonable pace. Now I'll show you what everybody's first mistake is here. Is they come down their line and they pivot on one wheel. So if you'll watch the right wheel here, um, I'm going to stop and then everybody just wants to turn around like this. And what that does is that pivots your wheel right on that patch of grass right there. And when you pivot on that patch of grass, that is exactly where you tear the grass up right there. So instead, when you come down your line, you want it to look like this. So now instead of pivoting on that piece, what I'm gonna do is slightly turn and I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna pivot like this and go into my next line. Okay, that's one way to do it if you're uh, if you're coming into it at an angle. Now, let's say I was coming down through here and I wanted to pivot towards the camera. Do a little maneuver in here. Let's say I'm stepping down the yard like this. I can come down to the end here and I can pivot like this. I can stop, I can come back, and then I can go down this line. So that's two ways of doing it, is that's what I consider a three-point turn. Some people call it a K, um, but there's other ways to do it. So you can even go this way with it, and stop like this, go out into the, into the driveway, come back, and then back into your line. So there's many ways you can do it. Um, the things that you just want to concentrate on is keeping those wheels moving. So as soon as you come to the end and you've stopped that one drive wheel and then pivot on that drive wheel, that's when you tear up the grass. So I hope that makes sense. All right, guys, so I hope that helped out someone. I hope that explanation was uh, right on point. Um, just make sure, regardless of what kind of equipment you're using, whether you're using a stand-on mower, a, a walk behind, a zero turn, a lawn tractor, regardless of whatever piece of equipment you're using, if you are pivoting that tire in a single place and expecting it to turn in the grass without it tearing it up, then you absolutely just have the wrong mindset. So make sure your tires are always rolling when you're turning so as to not tear those gra pieces of grass and other otherwise stir up the soil. So I hope that video helped you guys out. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. If you're subscribed to the channel, well, I guess we'll see you in the next video.